Hello, I'm Jennifer Grace and welcome to another layout process video. This one was inspired by the Jot Magazine September 2015 mood board. I just love the colours in this, the gorgeous blues and reds. I like the black writing. I was just so inspired to use it. I'm going to use this photo of me and my husband. We're down at Durdle Door, that's near us in Dorset. It was such a gorgeous sunny day, beautiful sky. Um, I've picked out a few black chipboard words which I might use for my title. I've got lots of blue and red coloured papers. I've got an anchor stamp, a couple of frames, loads of dots and stickers. I was actually really impressed how much stuff I managed to find in my stash that kind of suited the mood of this challenge. It's quite floral for me, so I didn't know I'd found this much, but I was pleasantly surprised. There's a lot of blue and red too, which I don't always use, so <laughs> that was good. I decided to use this beige coloured piece of paper for my background. I don't tend to use white very often as a background and I didn't want to use just blue or red because I thought it would dominate the photo a lot and restrict which embellishments I could use. So I thought this beige was kind of neutral enough that it would work okay. So I'm starting by choosing some papers. I don't end up with very much papers on my pages. I normally just have a few pieces of paper and I go crazy on the embellishments. I really liked this geometric piece of paper, but I had a look at the mood board and it just didn't suit the mood. It was too organized. <laughs> I needed to find papers that were more floral and twiddly and fun. I found this floral wreath paper in my stash. It's from Webster's Pages. At first I thought I might use a whole circle of wreath but then I realised that would take up a lot of space on the page. So I just cut out one of these sort of semicircle pieces and thought I could tuck it under the edge somewhere. I know for sure that I want to use this paper plane paper. It doesn't go with the theme of the page because we didn't fly to get there. We're not children. <laughs> but I liked the playful feel of it and it suited the kind of twiddly designs on the mood board. So I thought it worked quite well. It's got that kind of carefree spirit to it. I then check the mood board again to just work out the layout of my page and I see that a lot of them have got kind of linear elements, sort of stripes going down the middle of the individual images. So I decide to go with that layout for my page as well and keep this piece of dark blue paper down the middle of the page roughly and tuck some things around it. I'm just cutting out the floral wreath a bit neater because it didn't look very pretty how it was. Got to get those nice pretty leaves looking lovely. So after cutting that out, I just need to work out where I'm going to tuck it on the page. One thing that I kind of struggled with was the balance of beiges and whites. I wanted to make sure there were kind of whites all around the page and reds all around the page. So you'll see me sort of fiddling with things quite a lot to make sure things are echoed on each side of the page. It was at this point that I sort of thought actually I need some white somewhere else so that the white floral part of the wreath isn't standing out as much. I wanted to balance it out so I got a piece of white cardstock to go down the left hand side of the paper aeroplane paper and then I just checked a kind of idea of where some embellishments might go and as I was doing that I realized the white paper was too white for me now that was standing out too much so I used the anchor stamp the roller stamp from glitz design to just stamp some turquoise anchors down my white card it just kind of added to that playful element and stops it from being quite so white and bright and dominant I'm going to just ink down the edge of the white card as well for the same reason, just helping it all blend in. I like that I've got this turquoise colour into the page as well. It's not on the mood board exactly, so I don't didn't pick out lots of things from my stash in that colour, but it is in my photo, so it needs to be on there somewhere. I want to use this pocket, this polka dot pocket and this tag but the tag kind of disappeared in too far, it was too small for the pocket. So I just folded over one end of the pocket and stuck it down like that. 
so now the tag doesn't disappear inside when you tuck it in the pull here bit of it still sticks out at the end now I'm going to start sticking things down with my Herma repositionable tape runner I don't always start sticking things down this early but I wanted to do the page quite quickly so I decided to just go for it sometimes it's good to just start sticking but I was really glad that I used a repositionable tape because I stuck these strips down and then I realized that I hadn't tucked my wreath underneath I'd forgotten all about it so I had to uh, kind of peel some of the layers up again so I could tuck it underneath good job I used a repositionable tape okay then I start planning out the other bits and pieces again so I don't stick any of these embellishments down yet as I know that I'm still going to be playing around with it so I start just choosing where this little strip of paper is going to go and adding some other embellishments onto the page to see where they fit well again I'm just trying to balance out all the different colours I decide the background paper is a bit boring so I decide to stamp some um, turquoise frames on the page the first one didn't stamp very well so I end up covering it up a little bit but I don't mind too much that it's not perfect I also add a couple of little stamped tiny icons, a little flower and a little heart just to kind of keep that carefree kind of layout going on to match the mood board um, I had a couple of other bigger bits which I wanted to put on the page but I'd kind of filled it up quite a lot already I do like a lot of stuff on my pages but you know you have to be careful that you do actually still see the photo and that the title still stands out and everything you can see I decided to use fly me away for my title which again doesn't exactly fit the theme but I kind of think it does fit the spirit of it because it's about me and my husband and how I like the journey that we're going on our life journey so I wanted to make sure I fitted this other piece in about you'll never know dear how much I love you I just think it's really sweet and I've been hanging on to it for years so it had to go on here I tucked a little black sticker down the side there because I've got the black title over on the right so I wanted to bring a bit of black over on the left again to just make sure it's balancing it out not dominating it too much in one place or another I keep arranging everything until I'm happy with most of the bits I've got on the page I know that I'll end up adding some dots or little tiny stickers when I get to the end but I just get most things on there and then I will stop and take a photo with my digital camera to remind me where everything goes so that when I start pulling things off to stick them on I can check it to make sure I'm putting them back in the right place or to make sure that I haven't forgotten anything which I did this time but it was alright because I had my photo to remind me so I stick things back down one by one I have to measure things when I stick them on I like things to be straight it's probably a bit fussy like obviously not everything goes on straight I kind of randomly scatter the gems and buttons and things like that but things that are rectangular things that have straight edges have to be straight I'm sorry but that's just the way it is <laughs> not always but most of the time I stick the photo on using foam tape just to give it that bit of oomph make it stand out from the busy background that I'm creating if you're still planning out where your embellishments are going to go when you're sticking this down make sure you don't go right up to the edge of the photos with your tape because you might still want to tuck things under the edge of the photo and you won't be able to do that if it's got tape right up to the edge I already knew where most things were going to go so I didn't worry about this this time but it's a good tip for if you're going to try sticking your photo on with foam tape I check my camera again there just to make sure I'm kind of positioning the flower in the right place 
really love that big flower. It's from a My Mind's Eye chipboard set. I got quite a few of these things in a sale in June and I'm just loving using them all now. Now I've got some time again. Most of these things are just stuck down flat. The chipboards have mostly got stickers on the back, so that's okay. A couple of them though, when I peeled the sticker backing off, or when I tried to pick the sticker backing off, it just ripped off completely, so it wasn't sticky anymore. So I had to use my glossy accents to stick those on and to stick on the other bits that didn't have stickers on, like the buttons and things. Uh, that's when I checked my camera and realised that I'd forgotten a butterfly. I'd, I'd left it off the page completely, so it was good I had that photo to remind me to stick it on. Now I'm writing my journaling. It just says, We don't often go for walks without the kids in tow. It felt like we'd forgotten something, but it was all so lovely. Laughing, teasing, being grown-ups. I love our journey through life together. Just a nice little story about me and my husband. I don't have many photos of just me and him together, so it's nice to document them. Okay, now it's time for the dots. My favourite bit! <laughs> I always love the little stickers and the little dots. So I found a couple of little flowers on this sheet of puffy stickers and a We Are Here sticker, which I thought was pretty cool. So I had to put that on too. I, um... I did this little black chevron down the bottom. Again, I just thought another little bit of black would be good to kind of do this three cluster of embellishment thing, which it isn't really because I've got way more clusters than that. But it's got the three repeated colours of the black on the left and the right and at the bottom of the page. So it kind of makes your eye travel around the whole page. Okay, when I was um, sticking the dots on, I also kind of felt like I needed a bit more white over on the left hand side of the page. I couldn't decide between a feather sticker and a fave puffy sticker. In the end I went with the feather sticker because I thought it suited the theme of carefree floral twiddly kind of design of the mood board a bit better. Okay I just added a couple of turquoise dots as well to pick out that turquoise in the photo just, you know, making things pretty. Once I'd finished with the dots, I just double checked the mood board to make sure that I felt like I'd followed the theme and not left anything out. And that was it. Here's a little closer look at my page. I love all the different playful details I've got on here. I think it suits me and the theme perfectly. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Jennifer Grace. Please remember you can check out my blog, jennifergracecreates.com. And I've got Pinterest, Instagram, Facebook, all those other things too. Remember to thumbs up the video if you've enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more. Bye bye for now.